Floor. <laughs> Hi, Floor. Floor, what do you want? Ja, iets fris, fruitig, iets nieuws. Oké, okay, something sparkling. Ja. Yeah. Will you turn for the you and the rest of the world to show what you have now? Yes. Oké, okay, thank you. And normally you are a customer of mine. Yeah. Okay, thank you very much. Hello friends on YouTube, this is Floor. And Floor is going to be my model for today. And she is normally a customer of mine, so that's why I know her hair and her person very well. <laughs> and she will get into the uh, autumn shades, so we get a lot of warmth into the colors. Start as always with my protection. And then take an open cape. And now start with wetting the hair. You can see there are a lot of blonde tones in her uh, hair. That we did because it was summer. I will make a disconnect on this side. So she wears her hair a lot behind the ears and now it's very thick so I take some weight off it and make her lines sharp again. Sometimes you see water flowing off the hair when you comb it through then you know there's a silicone based product into the hair. Now you see all the hair goes into the hair, uh, the water goes into the hair, sorry. And then you know there's no silicone in her products. I'll make a line behind the ear short, we'll get it up on the back, but that I'll show you. On the sides, lay the hair in the fold, so I can see where it's going. And I lift it up, and in the line of falling, I cut her hair. Make a flow to the back, make sure this stays a little bit length. This area. Het is knap dat ik al om de hoek kan knippen. Hm. Spannend dat ik het nou zelf niet kan zien. I will create a soft line to the back. So it has a lovely flow. And this will color in, uh, in brown tones, I think. Well. <laughs> Create a nice soft side beard. Slice the length at the front, so it remains soft. Cut it in the opposite lines to get the hairs that get straight to the front. Now cut to the back. Cre create a connection on the longer hair by slicing it through a thin end. I want to remain all the lines in a soft line. I think autumn is wonderful when it's not a hard time. Temperatures are mostly a little bit uh, warm. The colors are warm, so why shouldn't I keep cut a nice soft hairstyle then? Clean the contour a little bit, so I'm ready at this part. Afterwards I will clean it with a knife, also take away small hairs at the front. Now I'm behind the ear ready, so you see there's a lovely line, slowly hanging over, but very thin and dense. So now I get to the line to, that goes to the front. The line that goes to the front starts 
at the front. <laughs> of course. Uh, I, I would like that scene. I can't give up. Dan ben je ook een hele hoop van de gewicht kwijt wat daar hangt. Mm -hmm. Dus dan wordt het voor jou ook makkelijker. Het is wel lekker rustig zo, hè? Nou, ben ik niet gewend. Nee, meestal is een heksenkevel. <laughs> ik heb nog een hoop mensen rondlopen. Ja. Een klein stukje heen draaien. You see this long part, they are fake off. I will make the same line as I did on the other side, only this time I travel with my line to the longer part I left over at this side. So that's what I'm going to do. And I start in the neckline on the back. Start on the neckline because now I can see where my line is. I end it there, so I go in there, take the arrow up. And create myself the line I want to cut. And Flora is a wonderful neckline to cut because yeah, she has a lovely shape of uh, skull and her hair is wonderful. I let you just talk to me. I don't think it's in yeah. Sometimes we, the uh, people on YouTube think we are German, but we are not, we are Dutch. But our language is uh, are a bit similar, German and Dutch. And I love Germany. And Germans. <laughs> Scissor overcome because I want to get nice soft lines and when I do this scissor overcome I can get more character into the style I cut. And more play with the natural lines and the way hair falls. Salt word of a yo. <laughs> Ik denk dat dat had gemerkt. Ja, absoluut. Create a nice uh, connection to the part I left. Clean the underline. Watch if my line is ready. You see there's a small part. There's a small part that can come off. And when you cut short lines, sometimes it helps when you take some distance of your hairstyle. So you can see if everything is alright. When you're nearby sitting with cutting, your arms are mostly too small to see all the, hair, the things you cut. So when you take uh, a meter back, you can see what you have created. That's around 30 inches or 3 feet. Again, clean in the couture line, don't lean on the clipper. Make sure all the small hairs are gone, otherwise they get colored too. I create myself a nice running to the longer sides. Yeah. Coming to the parts I just want to get rid of because she wants the length on top, but this is always in the way because when you take this behind the ears, you see that it's already very thick. So I take this off. Do this in the line I created from the back. Get 
Ja, want de armen ervoor zit. <laughs> dat is ook niet heel erg. Nou, je kijkt zo moeilijk door mijn armen. <laughs> Make sure the facial lines are ultra soft and flowing. Also on this side to create the side views. Create a nice running around the ear. Make sure the underlines nice flow. I take my first centimeter of the longer part, and this she wants to be able to put behind the ears. So I have to watch how long it is, and then I can see. I put the ear aside that I can take off about a centimeter at the front. What I do on the back is not important because that is on the back. So what's behind the ear is behind the ear. You don't have to put it behind the ear anymore. Kijk het goed hè? Ook dat is een ding. I just saw that I can take off about a centimeter. Now this scissor has little feet, so the hairs don't slip. Especially made for me for by Kionet in Holland. Take a new part on it. Lay it gently on the line I just cut. And now you see that the front is a little bit longer, but that in the line of what I cut, I can take also there a centimeter off. Once again, lay it back. Watch if the line is flowing. The line. On the ear, I leave about on the ear, and here I'm going to make a curving. Now I've cut myself all the hair that leaning to the front. You see, it's a wonderful line. Just take this small parts off, create a bending to the back, and in the back I create a new line. This I do in a freehand style, so just take it off. Like I love to. <laughs> and hopefully she does also. <laughs> but most of the time she does. I hope it <laughs> Again lay the hair in a natural line. I end it here, so I lay my scissor in and connect it to the line I cut. So now you see I have a wonderful line. They only have minor corrections and then it's good. Now I come all the hair to the back, laying it on the line I just cut, and when all things are right, you can see that's, that I only have to get some minor adjustments to the line, and it connects also to the back. So now I've kept myself a line like a bob line, that is very easy to remain behind the ears, and still don't have a lot of weight. And I have a lot, nice asymmetrical line with curves in it. Now I'm coming to the front. Coming to the front. And this I make a lot shorter because I love her openness in her face. And it longers her face a little bit. And connect that to the short side. And on the line of her face to that, that side. 
this gets also a nice dark shake because then it looks ultra sexy. And leaning it to the front. Get it in a free end style so I get the most natural fall of the hair. I just take the hair up. Watch if I've got all the ends cut. And then she's ready to make some colors. <laughs> okay, I make my colors. We'll put on the protection, of course. I also put on my own protection. I made some lovely colors for her. I will leave one part blonde, so I will take the blondest line out and make that up to a higher level. I'll put uh, on my world famous plastic for her. This protects the cape from falling. Colors tied with 453 from Lac May. It's a brown choco color in the warm lines that I apply on the short sides, on the short part on the front. So I make a connection to this by a small angle on the front. The upper hair I will lay into foil techniques. Lay the longer hair aside. And the short hair I just come into the longer hair because then I'm sure I have always the underlines in a collar because with the foil you don't see it. It's that good because the foil is leaning on it. And now I'm sure the line is colored. And this is also in the Shoko lines. This color will also be back in the colors on top. Now lay the hair back. And I start with the dark line. So the front line will be the darkest line. That I can lean into the small hairs in the front. First I set some color on the back. Then I take my foil. And make sure there's enough color on the hair. This I will make into a package. For this I made some bleach. Now I use a Goldwell bleach. First set on the baseline. A little bit to the back so the foil don't slip away. Lay the foil on it and the hair on the foil. This bleach I made with uh, Vario Blonde of uh, Swatchkopf and with a deep conditioner. So I'm sure there is no damage to the hair at all. Because I want to bring this in an ultra light uh, uh, line. It's the only blonde line that stays in our hair. Now I come to the back. And in the back I get to be aware of the shape it has. So I make little parts in a moon shape, so I travel to this corner by making small moon shapes uh, shapes <laughs> I don't know how to call it uh, in another way and sometimes I mix the colors together so I, I think uh, for example I have a um, 5 uh, 59 of Lac May, that's a plus series, it's a deep red. 
but I have also a copper tone that's uh, a 749 um, and they I mix into each other so they get other shades of color also I make dark lines between it and what I told you in the front is only one blonde part This I do to create a nice shape in colors and, and get a wonderful line into it. Okay, now all the foils are on. Here I created myself a nice soft uh, wiggling line. It's, uh, not totally straight because I love that it flows and that I get with a, when I don't part it too strong. This a cover up. I have to wait for about 25 minutes, then I'll rinse it out and I'll be back. Uh, it's a difficult package to pack in. It's large. <laughs> but I'll manage. It's a sort of spin. Yeah. <laughs> I don't know if that's in English. Nee? <laughs> nee, geen idee. Hello friends, we're back from coloring. Took uh, 25 minutes. Now take foam to dry the hair. I will dry it with a medium uh, large brush. See how wonderful the side shape is. So if she wants to get a short hairstyle, she can. You can work it up if she wants. This will come through the hair. I think it's a wonderful pastel colored palette. We'll start at the front. Ja. Mooie kleuren zijn. Drying. You see how wonderful the colors are. Real sexy. I get now lost, lost in uh, in autumn. I want to get the feeling of autumn. Minor corrections to the dry line. Just lay the hair gently down. What I'm going to use now is uh, Serum of Lanza. Just two pumps. This holds hair lovely playable, brings out wonderful the colors and a lovely shine. 
feed the blonde part because you see how wonderful the color is of the blonde line. Okay, my love, you must show this hairstyle to the world. Nou, komt ie. Okay, thank you. And thank you for modeling. Thank you. You're welcome.